Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you how to manipulate the flowers to make a different shape out of it um, and we'll use it on a project. So today we're going to use this smaller flower. It also comes in a big size. This little silver pearl and a pliers. And that's all you're going to need to get started. And some glue of course. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pliers and put it around one of the leaves, just like that, and we're going to bend down, okay? Now once we've got it bent down, then we're going to bend the end of it up, okay? So now we've got like a step, and now I want to take the very tip and just curl it a little bit like that, okay? I hope you can see that clearly. I'm going to move it in all directions. Okay, so we're going to go to the next sleeve and do it again. And the next one, down. Oops, I didn't get quite in the right spot. Up and curl. Down. Up. Curl. Down. Up. Curl. You have to excuse the noise in the background. My kids are slamming doors. Down. Up. And curl. Okay, so now it looks like that. I'll lay it on here so you can see a little better. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so it's a little blurry when it's this close, but you can see a little better now. See how the ends are curled up? Okay, so you could stop there, but I want the center to be rounded. So I'm going to take my players and I'm going to push in the center and just kind of curl my hand like that. I'm going to turn it and do the same. Okay. Now it's still not rounded. You can see it's kind of lopsided. So I'm just going to manipulate it a little bit. And I'm going to take each petal and right where it meets right here. Oh, you can't see. I'm out of. Right where it hit, hits right here, I'm going to push. So we're going to push and push and push. Turn it. Push. Turn it. Push. And now I've got a little more rounded, so I'm going to just kind of play with it and manipulate it to get that rounded, nice rounded bottom on it. Okay, and now I've got that, so it's like a little cup. I'll lay it on here so you can see. Okay, all right, so now that I've got a little different shape to it, I'm going to put some glue in the center. Let me get my glue. Okay, so here I've got it again. I'm going to put the glue right in the middle. Just one drop. And I don't know where my picker is, so I'm going to just take this, oops, and put it right in the center. I think that looks pretty good. And there you have a nice flower. Lay it on here again. And I'm going to zoom out just a bit. Let's see if I can't fix that light. There, now you can see a little better. And I apologize, it's a little blurry. It's hard to, when it's shiny, it's hard to get a clear picture. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to, I'm going to put it on this birdcage and I'm going to show you. I have lined this with those flowers, as you see, and I've manipulated and curled each one. Okay, and on the front, I've attached some ribbon and two of these beautiful crystal droplets that you can also get at Miriam's. And the silver little flatback pearls are from Miriam's as well as your metal flowers. 
Now this little bird cage I found at Michael's and it was, I believe, a dollar. And this gorgeous uh, ruffled organza ribbon is from, um, oh, Really Reasonable Ribbons, that's who it's from, okay? All right, so I've got all of those on and I wanna put one right here on the top. So you could do this with hot glue, um, but since I'm moving, I have a lot of things packed, so I'm going to put it on with the uh, glossy accents, and I'm just going to set it on there, and then I have to hold it until it dries. Okay, so it's going to go right there. All right, so I will be back when it's dried. Okay, so I've added a little flower to the top of the birdcage, and as you can see, I made sure that it this could still come up so you can hang it. Then on the inside I added some uh, peachy pink peonies. You could put anything in here. You could put a bird or um, vines, whatever. I just wanted it to be very simple. So I will take pictures of this and uh, put it at the end of the video so you can see the completed project. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.